Good morning, everyone. It is Amy with Mama Bear Blue, and we're live here um, for Mondays with Mom, and I'm here with Mom. Debbie. And we will be um, finishing up some projects from last week. So as you are joining here, please give us a thumbs up and share the live out if you can. We're going to pull it up and check sound like we always do. And um, we love to talk with you guys. So be sure to make comments and things and questions if you have any. Um, <clears throat> let me get this book turned down. Maybe. Well, the sound is good. Okay. I think we're good. And it looks nice and clear today. Good. That's a good thing. That's <laughs> Let's good keep thing. this here. I'll just keep it by me. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, welcome, guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I'm going to let you use that brush. Okay. And we are going to finish up last week's project. So if you joined us last week, we took um, some thrifted stuff. Well, that's Hobby Lobby, but clearance, right? Yeah. And we painted it with the Sweet Pickens uh, milk paint and flower sack. We did the candlesticks, we did this um, chalkboard frame, and we also painted this in old school from DIY Paint because it makes a really nice chalkboard color. And as long as you don't seal it, it's going to make a nice chalkboard that you can wipe off um, with a dry rag, not a wet rag. Right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and also, this. Oh, uh, old storage box, probably toolbox thing in someone's garage, but we painted that. This side didn't get as chippy as this side, but um, I'll probably sand this side a little more. But I'm going to work on this front. Let's see. Hey, Rod. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. He's put, so Rod's, Rod had, he's good now, but he's at work, but he had COVID, and so he put a happy face with the mask on. <laughs> I hope you're wearing your mask all day. Good morning, Karen. I hope it holds out too. I know. I used to worry about that all the time, but now we have decent internet and it's not quite as bad. Um, okay, I forgot to turn my notifications off, so hopefully we'll be good as far as um, <laughs> I'm getting a phone call. Uh -huh. My texts are popping up. So, uh oh. Um, okay, so I'm going to work on the front of this, but what we're going to do um, is actually use the IOD paint inlays on what we've already milk painted. So yeah, let's show them so far. I tested it out on this and it looks good. Um, so the candlesticks turned out really chippy after we used the flower sack, which is fine because it was raw wood. And sometimes, um, uh, well, actually, I think there it wasn't completely raw because it did chip so much. I think it had some wax on it. Oh, it probably did. So sometimes when you have wax or something underneath, it causes a little bit of a resist and you get more chippiness, which is okay because that's the look I was going for. So you can see that got pretty chippy, but some of those bigger sections like that, I'm going to actually be putting the mom is going to put the rose. Um, I think it's rose trellis. It's a retired paint inlay, but I still have a few if you guys want it. We're going to put bits and pieces of the rose trellis all over this. And let me give you a close up of ones I've done a little bit so, so far. So it's just going to be a, kind of that, you know, old shabby chic. Oh, when they were like using the word shabby chic. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Laura. So anyway, I'm going to let mom get started on that. But let me let me tell you what we did real quick. Got uses. With, um, you can use, this was, oh, uh, this yeah, it's got on there. Okay. So after I did the, um, some of them have one coat of milk paint, some of them have two. Then I sanded it so that the, it wouldn't be super flaky. I sanded it off. Or just the flakes and then I sealed it with the DIY liquid patina which is the same this is what I put on mm -hmm. first right yeah okay which is the same stuff that we use to decoupage with and we're actually going to put the paint inlay into the clear patina so we're gonna see all of the you know design underneath as far as like the milk paint the chippiness and all that we're not painting that over with a color so it's gonna embed into the DIY liquid patina and I have all these products on my website, mamabearblue.com, and if you're local, um, it's at Farm Girl in Franklin and Southport Antique Mall in Southport. Um, so I sealed them all. Oh, I feel like my mind is jumping all around today. <laughs> I put a coat of this on all of them to seal it down after I sanded it. Okay, that was before any of the paint inlay. And then it dry, let it dry, and then we started working with the paint inlay. So what mom's doing, and what I'll do on these projects, is she cut out the little pieces of the rose from Rose Trellis. Um, hey, Logan, I just saw you pop on there. <laughs> I'll I saw your text, too, and I will check it when I'm done, okay? <laughs> Miss you. 
That's Miss my you, oldest Logan. son. He is out in Washington. Washington State. We miss him. A lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so Rose Trellis has lots of little roses on it. It is retired. I think I have four left. So hop on my website if you want it. It's one of my absolute favorites. So Mom cut out some of these little pretty delicate roses. And she's working on getting them applied to the candlestick by just putting a, some liquid patina on it and then patting it into the surface. And curved surfaces are a little more challenging. That's why you need to use smaller, like use Pieces, little bits, yeah. yeah. And then lay it down um, on there and use your finger like mom, like you're doing to smooth it out because you want all that pigment to be touching because that's how it's going to, um, mm -hmm. even if it has a wrinkle, it's okay. Okay. That's how that pigment's going to embed into that liquid patina. Um, good morning, Kathy. Uh, okay, so she's she's starting that. We on the other candlestick, I have one already drying. Um, there is, if you've used the paint inlays before and embedded them into paint, that's a little bit longer drying time. You have to wait before you can rewet it and peel off the paint inlay. But with the liquid patina, we're only going to leave it on a short time. So after you get that one on there, will you um, use the heat gun to dry the one we applied before we started? Sure. So. Um, now what you'll do, Mom, is spritz that. So she's she's laid it into the candle stick, and then she's just going to very lightly spritz it with water and set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's all you have to wait on that, and you can speed it up with a heat gun. The reason, the reason you don't want to wait too long like you would with paint is because it will, this is a decoupage medium, so it will actually decoupage it onto it. And we don't want to decoupage it on because we have that backing to peel off. Right. So that's why we wait a shorter amount of time, if that makes okay. sense. So if you have any questions about that, be sure to ask me. Um, okay. So, yeah, as soon as you get, and that doesn't, just doesn't have to be all the way dry, just a little, a little more. The one that I just put on, on the other side. This one? The paper. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you what I had in mind for this little cute chalkboard that we finished up. Um, this is called Indigo Floral. That's another paint inlay. Uh, good morning, Judy. How are you doing? <laughs> We're blowing all our pieces yeah, around. I'll do this. Um, I, this is on small projects like this. I love them because I can use up all my little scrap pieces of paint inlay on these little areas, and it's nice. I have a whole drawer full of unused like scraps from my paint inlay projects. So what I've started already to do is use bits of the floral. Uh, indigo floral and I'm just gonna put you know randomly around this board I think that's a really pretty blue against this white I love it so yeah so I'm gonna get do that and then we'll I'll show you what I'm gonna do on the planter box or storage box or whatever you want to call this thing and put these aside I need to cut out a couple so I'll walk you through cutting these out too um, let me see the one you just dried real quick before I move on to this. Because if it's dry enough, I want to... Peel it off. Yeah, I don't want to wait too long. Okay, it's pretty dry. All right. I'm going to go ahead and show you this one step, and we'll be doing it again in a minute. So this has only been on here probably 15 minutes, and Mom did go ahead and dry it. You can see that it needs peeled. It's got... It's. I don't know if you can see the little grid line pat paper still on there. But what we're going to do um, is wet it with a spray gun. A water gun. Water, water bottle. <laughs> water bottle. Spray gun. Whatever. <laughs> okay, we're going to wet it back down. We did this once after we put it down before we were letting it dry, but we're going to wet it. Don't over wet it, but just enough that you can start peeling that paper. And then with these little tiny ones, little tiny pieces, I got my little cricket, the one that looks like a dental, like you pick your teeth with it. Yeah. For the cricket, it's called a weeder because you weed out like pieces of the. Um, a weeder. A weeder, <laughs> you weed out pieces of the vinyl when you're doing cr like. Oh, on your, your cricket. cricket. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. it it makes it easy for me to pick up an edge to get started peeling this, and I right. just want to. Oh, this is, looks good. Okay, so. I always just try to start on an edge. Let me show you guys. Someday we'll get an overhead camera, but I just start on an edge to get it started up. I don't know if you can see that. And then make sure it's wet enough. If it's if it's resisting a lot, it's probably not wet enough. 
and then just start peeling. And if you get, because it is that decoupage medium, if you get some of that paper stuck to it, just add a little, little more water and it should, should come right off. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I love it. It goes with the chippiness. It does. And it goes with the style of milk paint and, yeah. or the color. I love it. It's, it's a nice spring candlestick pair. Yeah. As long as I don't mess this up. <laughs> you won't. Um, okay. So then I just start peeling it off. I'm going to try to get a close up this part because I love this part. And you can see how it's embedded right onto the candlestick. All right, I just have a little bit of paper left to pick in parts, and that's why this little tool, or anything you can get that, like, help you get some of that paper that might still be stuck to it off. But this is pretty good. And that's the key with the, when you're embedding into a clear, like, um, the liquid patina from DIY is great. You just don't need to leave it on as long, like I said, 10 or 15 minutes and kind of check an edge and you're ready to go. I think that looks really cute. It does look really good. So when this is dry, completely dry, um, actually what I might do, let me see if I still have some of my big top mix. I do. So I, I take a 50-50 mix of big top and water. Big top is the other sealer. You could probably do a 50-50 mix of even the liquid patina and water. And then, let me see if it's spraying okay. Sometimes it gets a little clogged up. So then I'm just going to spritz it on there. And all that's going to do is help set that a little bit so that when I go back in and brush a sealer on, probably tomorrow, um, it won't make those pigments go all over the place. Well, that's good. You, know? yeah. you want to have a little bit of sealer, but spraying it on is much better. This is a little clogged. It gets me a few good pumps and then it... <laughs> Need a toothpick or something. <laughs> yeah. Too. yeah, sometimes that uh, the little spout gets clogged. All right. But we'll probably do a few more on that one. But I, I really love these. Really cute. They'll look really cute for sale at Farm Girl, I think. It'll fit the vibe. <laughs> fit the vibe. Okay, so Mom's going to continue working on that. Um... Thanks, Judy. Yeah, those are Hobby Lobby clearance candlesticks. So let's get back to this little board and get with the, uh, this is Indigo Floral. And I like this little trail of vines and blooms on this. So when I am cutting out for small projects with the paint and lay, I like to get pretty close. Not a complete fussy cut, like they say in, when we're cutting our decoupage paper. Not completely, but get a lot of this extra edge off around the pigment image. Oh, guys, at the end, I'm gonna before we go, I'm gonna show you the, the all the new Made by Marley papers. They just released this morning, and they are. I know they're gonna be popular. I know because I've already gotten two orders for them, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to message my friend Julie in Texas, who is a distributor the U.S. distributor because, you know, these papers are made in Scotland um, and tell her I'm probably going to need to place another order today because these styles are they are so good. So much fun, so much color, pretty florals, the bees. Did I show you the bee paper no. already? No. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah. I'll, I'll show them all at the end. I I'm excited. I need to so. cut out some more. Yeah, you might need a few more. If you want to do that, that is fine. And then after after you do, then just hit it all with the heat gun, and then we'll do the peeling. Okay. Uh, okay, I want to tell you guys about the IOD paint inlays. They have decided... Uh, good morning, Renee. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. We are working on using some paint inlay pieces to... I don't know what... Oh, wait, um, <laughs> to, on the projects we did last week with the Sweet Pick and Smell paint. So, uh, let me get this. Oh, IOD paint inlays. They've decided that they're all limited release. So once once the stock is once the stock is purchased, all that IOD has, then that will be it for those. So 
The only one I know that's not available anymore is actually the little roses that mom's using. Um, and I'm sure there's some others getting very close to being sold out as well. But just keep that in mind. They, they're, they're really wanting to just keep that, keep new styles coming and not carry probably so many that it's overwhelming <laughs> to people. So um, they'll keep coming out with more, but they it won't be something that's always available. Okay, so I have the little piece that I want. I'm just kind of cutting out little skinny pieces to go on the edge of this. So this is what I'm going to adhere to the chalkboard. Just a little vine of blue flowers. If you are watching on the replay, be sure to give us a thumbs up and ask any questions you have because I will check them later. Just like to kind of test out my placement before I commit to this. Um, Let's see here. Who we got? Good morning, Marie. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Okay. Let me get my little patina out. Something else fun about using paint inlays. Oh, I hope we're not frozen. This happened last week. I'm going to go out and go back in. Is it my phone? Um, no. It's doing that thing again where it, um, remember last week I said it looks like it's going to start us from the beginning? Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> I'm just going to go all the way out and come back in. Okay. I'm also going to exit, close all your pages. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we'll go back into Facebook. But what I was saying was, um, what was I saying? I was saying. You were talking about. The IOD paint and lace being, um, yeah, oh, want limited releases. Yeah, but there was something else I was in the middle of saying. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be one of those days. Um, here we are. We're live here. Okay. If anyone remembers what I was saying, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Kathy. Ah, okay. And Marie and Renee. Okay. All right. We're not froze up, but if anyone remembers what I was saying, please let me know. I feel like it was good. <laughs> I guess you could listen to it. What? Well, I don't... Well, no, now we're back on normal. Oh, okay. Okay, so I am putting... Um, oh, I remember. Okay. So, when you're using the liquid patina, it's clear, so you can actually layer your paint inlays up if you just let it dry in between really well. Like, if we wanted to go over these roses with something um, else, I mean, we wouldn't on this kind of design. Yeah. But you could actually um, put another coat of patina and then lay this on, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and just go over it. So, <clears throat> if you were making, like, a mixed media piece or really anything, you can do that because this is clear. So, that's kind of nice. And so, I was, when I learned how to do this, um, and because at first I thought it could only be paint, you know, yeah, to embed the pigments into, but nope, you can... Definitely use the clear. And the big top does not work as well. So keep that in mind. If you think you're going to try a big top, I've done it. And it just it doesn't do the same. So liquid, the DIY clear liquid patina is what you would need to embed this into. So I've just laid it down and I'm using my finger to make sure that all of that is touching the wood. And then I'm going to just spritz it with a little water. And set that aside. Well, actually, I'm going to keep going on this, at least this side here. And so then that I'll, you can, yeah, yeah, I want to be able to show the whole side. Um, yeah, Christina, don't use the big top. It just doesn't do the same. How are you doing? Did you just finish your live? <laughs> Christina might come visit me this summer. Really? Yeah. Come on. I'm going to show her around Franklin. What about me? And you. <laughs> Mom has to come. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, getting there, getting there. I don't know, should I stop before and let these dry? And then I can add more? Um, yeah, if you want to. If you See? want to go ahead and get them with the heat gun and then peel them and then do your other ones, <clears throat> that's fine. Because it's taken a while to get... You don't want those to get decoupaged on. So let's let's hit them with the right. gun and peel. Okay. So I know people are kind of scared about the paint inlays, and they are one of the you know pricier products. But I, I like I always say, if you get 
um, if you get one of the sets that have a lot of the little images to cut out and practice on small things, they really are not hard. They really aren't, but I know they do scare people. There's a lot of good videos out there. I have several on my channel using paint and lays on YouTube. You can go to my YouTube channel, Mama Bear Blue, and look through there. There's several where I've used paint and lays. IOD has lots of them. Um, there's lots of other probably good stockists you follow who are using these who can give you the step-by-step. -step. And all of us as stockists have learned since these came out a couple years ago. We've learned a lot of, of things from trial and error and and what you know what's best practice on these things so don't be too scared and also if you guys don't want to invest in a full paint and lay um, let's see seal over big top 50 50 yes I want to meet mom yes so you can use the big top and water 50 50 mix to put in a spray bottle and spritz it on to to seal that up and then later, maybe a day later, go back with your brush and put a better coat of sealer on it. But at least you won't be brushing those pigments all over the place. Like if we tried to do that now on these, those pigments would just, with a brush, would just smear. So, um, but what I was saying is that if you um, are too nervous or don't want to invest in a full paint and light, message me. Um, or if you place an order sometime, message me and say, hey, can you throw in... A paint inlay sample and I'd be happy to do that we can IOD allows us to sell um, some half page like a half page or a fourth page little piece of inlay and ship it to you guys so just let me know and I'd be happy to include that in your orders to give you guys some practice on on these I'm gonna let you check this okay let me get this one down and I will do that it says, I just remember if you use the liquid patina, you will not be able to use that inlay again like you would. A good point, Marie. That is absolutely true. So paint inlays, I'll talk about that. Paint inlays um, are made to be able to use a second time if you embed them into paint the first time. So, and I have done that. Um, but if you, if we're doing like the ones we use today that we are embedding with the patina, they won't because you've actually put sealer right. on the pigment. So that is a good point. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all about the paint and lays, I would be happy to to help you with them. I didn't get enough on there. You want to get enough on that you know it's going to embed well. The pigments are going to go into it. Just using my thumb, getting it on there well and then spritz I try not to get my chalkboard too wet I don't want a bunch of run because it's not sealed oh you haven't done that yet <laughs> well I, I won't seal it because it works better if you don't well I mean you did the As chalk a, thing though right no I haven't even seasoned it like we talk with chalk no this is just uh this is just old the, school yeah straight no sealer okay so I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna we're gonna work on peeling the ones mom's working on let me check it um, I said that because this way you get more bang out of your buck. Yeah, that's true. That is true. When you, you know, with the paint, you do get a second, a second, uh, try with it. But if you're wanting that look where it's just clear and you can see the paint underneath or what you've done underneath, or if you're layering up, you know, a bunch of maybe stamps even, you know, you're stamping and then you're putting an inlay into mm -hmm. your stamped image, then you definitely would want to use, use clear. But no, I appreciate that, Marie. Okay, so we wetted it back down, right? Mm -hmm. And I could use my fingernail, but this just makes it easier. I'm going to check it um, before we start pulling up the whole thing. Give that water a chance to get in there. Oh, that looks good. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, I mean, this is milk paint that's been sealed, but it's still it still works. And on this style, I'm not real worried that like the whole image, if if the whole image didn't get on there, because I'm going, I wanted that look. sand and chippy yeah. look. So if the roses look a little bit like that too, that's fine. And with the paint inlays, um, you know, you're not, it's not going to be like the complete full image on there. There's always going to be a little bit of, you know, pigment places that just don't adhere. Was that Renee? Yeah, uh, thank you, Renee. She sent stars. <laughs> We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, 
Let's see, I find it easier to use the patina. Yes. Yeah, Judy, I agree. Um, I don't know. I'm bad at, I'm early. I, I don't know what I was talking about before. My brain's all over the place. So the top of that rose didn't go on, mm. but it's okay. If it, if it doesn't go on, that's end up going on. That's okay. But I want to see, just see, sometimes I try to give it a second chance. Oh, okay. And so I'm just going to, and this works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to slip just a little more patina under there and we're going to, we're going to give it a second go. Okay. So we're going to do this. It doesn't need re-wetted because this is really wet. But let's just see if we can let that dry okay. and pull it back up. So I have done that before. If it's a large section, which sometimes happens, um, put a little more patina under there, lay it down, and try it again on that little part. So the top of this rose is what I wanted to try to see if we can get a little more of that pigment to come off. That makes me a nervous wreck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's just a thrifted candlestick. I know. <laughs> Not even thrifted. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby clearance. It's okay. You have to you have to have a, a time to learn, you know? Yeah. And so it's nice to be able to use thrifted items that you don't have to feel super guilty about and little tiny pieces of inlay. I mean, we're not using a complete Yeah. That's why, you know, if you're brand new, just start on something small. It's coming. There we go. Now let's get this pulled up. Oh, this one went on good. That's pretty. Oh, yay. That's really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to be sad to see this one go. This inlay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That one's the one we want to keep drying, but we I have this little, little guy down ones. here. Yeah. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. I don't think so. That one's good too. Aww. That one went perfectly on there. Did we get? No, there's one. There's another one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Look how nice and chippy that turned out down, mm -hmm. down like here. It. Crackly. Uh oh, it's not sticking. That one is a little bit. And it could have just been maybe a spot where you didn't have patina but didn't realize it. Because that is another thing. When you're laying the patina down, it's clear. So it's kind of hard to tell if you have enough. You yeah. know? So sometimes if you hold it in the light and make sure you've got enough where you want to put it. Um, this is good, though. All That's it. all right. That big leaf is there. I'm not going to try to redo that one. That's... But this, this is definitely what I was thinking of for the look of these. Especially when these ended up turning out so chippy. I'm like, those roses over those spots are going to look good. Cute. Pull from this side. Is it not sticking? Um, just a little bit. Didn't. Nope, we're good. Just that one edge. That's okay, though. It's a nice... This reminds me of old faded wallpaper. Yeah. Like at a grandma's house. Yeah. <laughs> well, not your house. Your grandma. I mean, like your grandma's house. Well, my grandma's house. <laughs> All right. This one is the one we're waiting on. But we're going to do more of those to kind of fill that up. Yeah. Um, I can do a few but, little ones on the bottom. Yeah, if you want to keep working on that one. I'm going to dry this real quick and peel this off so they can get more to see what that I looks like that before looks. we start. I, love I do too. Works. I love blue anyway. Yeah, but true. I'm excited about the box and this the, the paint inlay I'm going to use on the box is going to be good. Um, Laura says I have these two inlays and have been scared to use them. I'll practice on small items. Yeah, Laura, just just get little pieces of it and um, you know try it out on something small, even a you know piece of wood or something. Just a scrap piece of wood or a frame. Um, you could use a frame. Yeah, the edges of a wooden frame. Like I'm doing with the sorry, I didn't want to reach over all the But I I really once I I had a I had a fear at first too of using them. But once I got over that, I'm like, these are pretty awesome. A really good one to use for little pieces 
is um, melange. I think that's the name of it. Melange. It's got lots of little elements. It's, I used that in a class last summer. Oh, yeah. We made those little tiny little um, shelf sitter signs. Oh, yes. You were there for that one. Yeah. Just speeding up that dry time just a little bit. These have probably this has probably been on there a little less than 10 minutes. But I'm gonna check an edge and just see if we need more time or not. Yeah, this one needs a little needs to dry a little more. I'm gonna hit it again with the dryer. So patina down, then your inlay, dry it or let it dry, but not more than about 15 minutes, and re-wet re it, and then check an edge and see if it's ready. And if it is, then go ahead and pull it up. Maybe I'll just let, I'm going to let this sit just while I cut out. A piece of this to get started with. I'm just going to give it a little more time. Okay, so the one that I chose to put on the wooden box with that also has flower sack sweet pick and smoke paint on it. And this one, I looked earlier for the name. Oh, Chateau. This is a really, really, really pretty one. It is eight images, and they do fit together to make a full picture, but this is one I had previously opened, and so I, I'm cutting out the elements of some of the florals, but I'll show you some of the colors in this Chateau inlay. Really kind of muted blues and pinks and greens. I love this. This is going to be really cute, and if this ends up being a planter box, it's going to be probably, perfect for it's that. It's going to be at your house. Yeah, I probably will need to keep <laughs> for a it. while. At yeah. least for the summer, right? Yes. Um, okay, so I did cut out a few ahead of time. I want to cut out one more because I'm going to do a bigger, this is much bigger surface. So let me look for a good image on here. Here, let me show you real quick the back. So the back of all the inlays shows you what all eight pages look like. But you can see that this is made eight pages and they're made to you know be able to put together as one big one big project like a, a dresser front or something or you can cut it up and do just parts of it but it's a good one okay i really like these bead things see these beads yeah. that are those are pretty so Again, I'm not going to fussy cut, but I am getting a lot of the extra off. I'm just trying to get close to the pigments. Have any of you used paint inlays on big projects yet? Like dressers or, you know, cabinets or... I did that file cabinet. Yeah. I love it. I do too. Um, old, painted in old 57 and used Moroccan, Morocco, I think is the name of it. It's got all the blues and yellows. I can't show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my Facebook page somewhere. Um, all right, I'm going to just leave that as is. All right, so let's see if I can pull these off and then start on the chateau. Okay. I did see, did that on a dresser for Bobby. It came out so cool. Oh, that's great. Ju did you do uh, Chateau, Judy? I think I remember seeing that on your page now that you say that. Um, I do remember that. Cool. Yeah, the bigger projects are just a little more challenging getting the, the parts to fit just right, but they, they come out beautiful. All right, let's see if we got a little better coverage this time.
Yes, we did. It's pulling just a little bit, so I don't want to. I don't want to over wet it, but you have to have it enough that it's going to actually <laughs> pull off without leaving all your what, backing paper decoupaged all over the place. A little that more water. Pretty nice. I know. Very pretty. It's transformed into some plain uh, chalkboard. And to... it's, a, it's something you can't get just No, it's, it's unique. There's one of a kind. One of a kind. <laughs> this one's pulling a lot. Need to get a little more water. There we go. This bright, vibrant blue is so pretty. Indigo floral is the one I'm using on this. What you need, Waylon? <laughs> He's had enough treats. He definitely doesn't need that. No, he's just saying hi. When mom comes, <laughs> both of my dogs, Callie and Waylon, they know how to get mom to give more treats, more treats, more treats. But the treats are vegetables. My dogs yeah, eat vegetables because they, they were on a diet. They love them. And they're kind of weird. Do you guys have dogs that eat vegetables? <laughs> yes. Judy said, I also did Morocco on my bathroom cabinet mirror. Oh, that's great, Judy. I don't think I saw pictures of that one. Did you post that? I love that style. I mean, that's one of my top favorite like styles of, of anything, of decoupage paper, of inlays, is the Moroccan kind of look like that, you know, the, with all the patterns and colors. But dogs and vegetables. Um, <laughs> so when I had to put my dogs on a diet, I looked up what vegetables were okay for dogs. Oh, Christina, they said carrots and celery too. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was weird at first. But you know what? My dogs also love radishes. <laughs> and I looked it up. They're all safe. So, um, <laughs> Judy hasn't posted it yet. Hey, Greg. Saw you pop on here. But, yeah, when people come over, other people are like, why are they eating radishes? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's funny. But they, I think because they're so crunchy, it, you know, they, it you know, like they like munch it on their chewies and their bones. Them. Yeah. So, and, and it helped Waylon. I mean, he lost like seven pounds. Oh, he's well. At one point, he did. I think he's got his winter chub back um, on. He's like getting a little bit. Okay. He just needs some outdoor time to run around. Yeah. But this is coming off nice, and the color is nicely embedded on here. So just a few little pieces of the backing kind of turns into tissue paper that I want to get picked off here. Uh, pretty, 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 pretty. Well, your house is the only place my dog will eat it. Yeah, I know. Bruno, mom's <laughs> dog. But I think he only eats them here because he feels like um, my dogs are eating them and he's missing out. Yeah, he's missing out. It's um, that resource, what I say? Resource guarding? Yeah. <laughs> so if there's a chance any of them are going to starve, yeah. he's gonna, he is going to eat vegetables. Yes. So I may have just a tiny piece of tissue left on that. I'll pick it off in a minute. I want to show you guys. What that's looking like. Um, oh, Greg says um, brew, his brew loves carrots. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this. Yeah, I saw him eating them the other day when we really? went to visit. Yeah, they're kind of carrots are kind of sweet, so they. I'm sure the dogs probably like them, but well, when I just hand them a whole celery stalk, they get eat so the excited. Yeah, it's like a chewy. They it, run it, off and chew it. They hide so the other one won't get it. it yeah. yeah, they each have a spot they go to. Yeah. We love our dogs. So we, love we talk them, about we them a lot. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So let me set this aside. Is this still a little you know what? I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun and go ahead and spritz it so I don't forget. 50-50 water big top and I bought these I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby or that area in Walmart that has the travel yeah. uh, travel shampoos and stuff had these spray bottles too Cute. how's it coming over there well is okay. more just more well, sometimes. You don't have to feel like you have to overdo it. When you do dry it, then that really shows you if you had any of that um, paper left. So if you do, just 
just use something and pick that off before you seal it. Yeah, I don't want that on there. It's just a little bit, but it's going to annoy me if I don't <laughs> get it off. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's seal it down just with the spray for now. And then in a couple days, this may be on its... This is an older bottle. Put that on your list today. <laughs> they aren't they aren't expensive, no. but I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm tempted to use some sandpaper on a couple of these spots, but I'm not gonna do it because you know what's gonna happen if I do that. It's gonna, gonna smear blue everywhere. Yeah. Well, this isn't coming out like I wanted it to. But if it was, <laughs> I would spritz this Take on this there. Thing and stick it in oh, the that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And it, well, it could be dried into in the tube or something. I haven't used this bottle in a while. You know what I mean? It's probably, yeah. Okay, we're going to pretend like that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get a better bottle. And then we'll get it sealed up tomorrow after that has had a chance to be on there. Okay. I'm going to set that one aside and get a few on here before I move on. Um, okay. And show you guys. Let me uh, just... Judy said carrots, peas, and green beans. Yes, I've heard. About I think they green could beans. have blueberries. Too. Yeah, I give them blueberries too. Um, one of them is funny about that. I forget which one. It might be Waylon. He doesn't like green beans. Uh, no, blueberries as oh, much. Blueberry. Oh. If he sees yeah. Callie, if he sees Callie eating them, he will. Yeah, I tried to get our dog to eat them, and he won't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but green beans definitely. The vet actually said that was the number one thing she she recommended. Um, am I in the camera by doing this? Yes. Okay. Oh, thanks, Renee. <laughs> um, she said she likes watching us craft. Aww. We try to keep it real. It's definitely not perfect. I, you know, definitely. definitely. <laughs> But it's fun. Well, it's on your on your end. It's perfect. No, on my end, not it's... always. Not when your 50-50 mix of big top and water doesn't want to come out of the. Thing. <laughs> Maybe you should buy smaller but, bottles. Yeah, I should, and not mix up as much because that goes a long way. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I got it all on there. I'm kind of letting the light hit it so I can. Check that out. Did you did you ask me a question and I told you? I was just gonna you? show you what I added and okay. then if you I added the hat. Yeah. No, that's good. And this. Yeah, I and because we don't want to completely cover it. Okay, so, so these just, I cut out, but I won't use them. Unless... No, because I can well we will have to finish that one anyway. So I can use those cut out pieces okay. on that one. So okay. just leave it at that. Is okay. it time to I don't um, know dry that. it? Did you dry well, it? No, I haven't dried it yet. Okay. Did you spritz some with water? Oh, After no. you, of course yeah I did so it. that was the second step let me get this down into this patina before it dries i can't tell if the water's coming out huh. it i is, hope the that... water's coming out this isn't the one that oh yeah it is it is it's continuous mist yes so okay. just point it away from you if you've had enough <laughs> all right so just all the all the spots are down so i know the pigments are touching the wet patina let me get that next one on. Um, I use a separate sprayer for the bottle. Okay. Judy, you mean like a whole... Sprayer. Different like the sprayer top? Thing. Like a different That's a top? good idea. That's a really good idea because that's that's the part I'm sure is getting clogged. Yeah. Well, it's patina, so you know it's going to like harden in there. Yes, and right. Unless you clean it out every day, but yeah, that's not going to happen. We'll have to make a list of what has to be done. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily they're inexpensive so yeah. this is going to be really pretty I'm excited about this that's okay. a perfect inlay for isn't that. it I know I thought that too I was looking through my pile of opened ones you know mm -hmm. that I've used for other projects and I'm like Oh, which one? I don't know. Maybe we'll go like just a gray and white one. And then I saw this. I'm like, it is. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay. And I have these beads somehow. I might actually cut these apart. So this was one of the little designs that were in the chateau inlay. And I think I want to cut them apart. 
Oh yeah, she Judy said the top, so she switches the top out. That makes a lot of sense. Do you ever? So do you just? How do you unclog it, Judy? When do you just rinse it out with like hot soapy water, or do you just trash? <laughs> do you just keep a bunch of these around and trash them, the tops? I think I have some at home. I'll bring you. Yeah, I that'd be good. I used to just spritz my them. little air plants. Oh yeah, yeah. My air plants died. Well, you know <laughs> I what? can keep regular plants alive. Here's what. <laughs> Here's the trick Ellie told me was: you don't have to spritz them, ma'am. You just hold them under the faucet. Uh huh. And let it just drench it. Drench and it. And then put it back. Okay, and it probably goes for a long time without having to be re -wet. It doesn't get, yeah. I mean, a lot, my little things, they, they're they little. Okay. You know, they're those little people. Yeah, where the plant is just in their head. Yeah. Yeah, those are cute. And right. I have kept six alive I'm even by gonna... doing that. Oh, that's that's a good idea. I'll have to remember that so I don't kill them next time. But I'm, I'm pretty good at, with plant plants. Oh, no, you are. I kill but the regular I... plants. <laughs> I ended up cutting that in half too. I, I think I wanted to piece these around uh, a little bit more. And before I, when I get these all on, I'm going to spritz them with water. And um, let me trim this one real quick. Oh, trash, she said. Soak it in hot water as soon as I'm done, or trash. So, depending on if you can get it to work again, I, I guess. Right, Judy? This one was too long, and it was overlapping what I'd already put on. So, you know that's not going to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. It won't embed pigments into the... It's making a nice little piece of art here. Yeah. All right. What do I got left? This and get it on over here, and then we will go to the next step. I definitely want to get this peeled before we're done today. This one. Okay, should I dry these then? Uh, so yeah, you can... go ahead and dry them. That would be good. Okay. Uh oh. Can't hurry right. without the heat gun. <laughs> Go up on this side. Whoa. <laughs> Blowing everywhere. Yes. Okay, so these are on, and I've made sure they're all adhered well. We're going to spritz it with some water. Um. That one had a little water puddle, so I don't quite that much. All right, let that set it aside. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the Made by Marley papers, and then mom will be ready, we'll be ready to pull those, and then we'll be ready to pull this, I think, when I'm done. We may have to hit it with the heat gun, though. Do you want me to? Yeah, I'll bring it over here. I'm gonna set it there for you to do okay, that. that. that's good. I love that. Okay. So, all right, yeah, Marley, uh, Lel just released these this morning. Um, super excited about them. They, I think this is my favorite release. Let me get all this junk out of the way that they have done. So, the Made by Marley papers are decoupage papers. They're a little thicker than the traditional, like, recycled or JRV, if you use those, um, if you've ordered those from me. These are more like newsprint. We've used them before on here several times, and now we're going to using them even more yeah. um, because these are so good okay I think there's 13 12 or 13 I think, I think so so here is um, I think they pronounce this Dothral it's got to be something Scottish. Scottish and when I looked at it, I'm like I don't know how to pronounce that but I think it's Dothral but look at this mm -hmm. look at that look at the colors in it kind of Indian kind of print so all of the, and then down on the sticker, it shows you the three pages and, and what it looks like when you, um, when you buy these, what each page looks like. And they come through, so there's three in a pack. Um, I think they're 20, on my website, they're 
but I love them. I love them because of all the color and patterns, and they're just super unique. So that that one's Doc Raw. This one's called Cranium. It's got like uh, cranes. Oh, cranes. Yeah. Cranium. And you get three pages that look like that. Um, this one I love. Love, love, love. This is called Butterfly. Look at that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the 70s. What am I thinking of a little bit? Like the orange and the... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, but then you get those three pages. One of them has a single and then the other two have like triple uh, butterflies. And okay, here's the bees, Mom. This oh is called goodness, Bumble Along. It. Isn't that adorable? I look love look it. at the big bee you get on each. So this is Bumble Along, and you get look at the two pages that have the big bee, single bee on it. So I think this might be one we're using soon, either <laughs> on a small plant stand or a tray. And here we get into some of the really, really fun colors. This is called Because I Can. Look at that. Oh, pretty. So if you love color, this is perfect. Those are the three images. And um, this one's called Virginia. It's got some really fun birds on it. And the colors in this are super pretty. Um, some blues and greens. Kind of muted. Look at that bird. Those are three that you get. But if you go to my website, mamabearblue.com. I like this one too. Yes, I know. And click on the Made by Marley icon. You can see all of the new ones are right at the top. This is called Rare Finds. This one actually has some words. Yeah, Rare and that. beautiful finds. I love that. And I then one of the pages say Wander Through Forest Fair. Okay, I'm buying one. <laughs> I had a feeling you would love this one. <laughs> Those are probably backwards to you guys. But so that says rare and beautiful finds, and then there's a page without words, and the other one says um, wander through forests fair. Beautiful colors. Kind of vintagey look on that one. This one's called pom pom. This one I'm already sold out of, guys. I didn't order enough pom pom. So if you go to my website to start shopping for these, if it happens to say sold out, go ahead and click that button on there. I think it's on there. You can say notify me when in stock, and I should have that in stock really soon because I've already contacted Julie. That my friend the distributor and placed it I'm gonna place an order today so hopefully soon but hit that button where it says notify me when in stock so pom-pom looks like pomegranates mm -hmm. that have opened up very cool the colors she has chose for yeah, all these it Look. just makes you wonder how they think of these uh, I'm not sure how she I don't know but this one I think I want to do on a tray so this one's yeah. called passion flower And I, do, I'm, I love it. I love it, love it. That would be perfect in the center of a small tray, yeah. like that one sitting oh. right over there. This one's hummingbirds. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mom's second favorite. Oh, I love it. Lots of little hummers. Look at the hummers sitting on the back. I, I mean, know. They're on that little... Branch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And this one's like this one. It's eating out of the flower. Okay, so I'll give you a list to order oh, for me. Yeah, we're going to have to. <laughs> this one, I didn't uh, I didn't order enough of this one. I, when it came, I was blown away by how pretty it is. I think it's because it's it's a water, they've done it as a watercolor. Yeah. And it's called Fortum. And look at this. Hmm? I'm in love with it. Let me make sure I didn't have any questions. Yep. And one of my other favorites, fireworks. This looks like patchwork. Kind of that Indian sari look. Lots of color. And then Amoramo. I think that's how you say it. Amoramo. I heard her introduce these today, and I wanted to make sure I said it right. But this looks super vintage -y. It's got some writing. I believe it's French writing. Not sure. And then like a postmark here. So the background has a real vintage -y feel with some really muted, pretty um, florals. So anyway, I'm excited about all the new papers. Those are so pretty. Yeah. And she's also retiring, I think, 10, maybe 10 images. So I'll list those on my Facebook page so you guys know if you are into the Made by Martley papers. You'll know which ones are um, 
What were we gonna do? You're gonna do up here. Did this. you dry this? Okay. I dried that. Let me do your candlesticks first. Let's see if they. Yeah, but you'll know what's getting ready to retire. I'll post it. She, yeah, she introduced so many new good ones. She had to retire some because Aww. there's just so many now. Okay, let's see. One of these was our redo. Right. Was it this one? Yeah. See what we get. We did. It, it came worked. back. Yay. Yes. <laughs> that happens if you just slip a little bit more, if, especially on these small projects. <coughs> slip a tiny bit more patina underneath where it didn't go down and try it all over again. And then it's just, you know, the two on the bottom. Okay. I think we're froze. Are we? Again? I, I think it freezes on our end for some reason, but not theirs. So I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> it says we're good. Okay. Um, no, I think we're good. Okay. It's freezing on our end, but not theirs. That's. We'll deal with that. Oh, this one on nice. Okay. That and this. I don't want to hear me. <laughs> I don't want to hear me talking. Okay. We're a little delayed by like five seconds, so I can hear every word I've said if that's turned up. Cute. Okay. Just a little bit of tissue down there. Oops, missed a piece. Okay, so we're going to stop for now on that, and then we'll finish up. I think you got them all. I did, I did. We'll decide if we need um, some more. more, yeah. And once I'm happy with it, we'll do the 50-50 spritz of the big top of water. Yeah. So here's where we're at so far on the mm -hmm. on those. We've got a few more to fill in. I want to fill in over some of this that just chipped off a ton. A little more. So those are the Hobby Lobby clearance candlesticks. And let's see how we do on this. I'm spraying your phone. Uh-oh. what we got. Let me check this little edge. Yep, pretty. Give that water a chance to soak in a little bit. If it's pulling real hard, it just... That looks good. It's so satisfying to pull the paint and lay off. <laughs> Ah, I love it. Okay. Again, this one's Chateau. This makes me want to do another project with Chateau. I cut I all my fingers off. On my fingers. <laughs> I cut all my fingernails off. <laughs> I cut my fingernails off and now I can't pick. Well, Anything. I cut on mine off, too. I can't craft with fingernails. I can't either, except that they aren't coming handy when you need to pick stuff off. But this turned out nice. Okay, let me do this one, then I'm going to show you guys the final. Let's see. Renee says awesome. Yeah, it's it turned out good. This is a good. <laughs> You're loving it. I am loving it. So pretty. Whoa. Okay. Almost done. I'm going to be putting some more on here, but man, this, when this is 
done. This is going to be so yeah. good. Look at that. Right on top of that sealed milk paint. Nice and chippy. <laughs> Love it. What? Got some rose pieces <laughs> stuck to it. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's it for the, the inlays. So if you didn't get a chance to watch us milk painting these and you want to know how that how to do that, you can check out last week's live. And then we sealed them up and did everything you saw us do today. So um, we'll continue on with the filling in a few spots on the candlesticks. I'm going to finish out the um, indigo floral around the chalkboard. And then, of course, this beauty. I'll finish that up. So, all right. I think oh, we're good. We're right at an hour. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, we will be back here. So that inlay is prettier in person. I love it. I agree, Judy. It is much prettier in person. Um, when you, yeah, if you can go to somewhere and actually look at it, it's deceiving online when you look at it. But um, we'll be back next week. We're going to plan some. I don't know if we'll do them next week or the week after, but the Made by Marley yeah. definitely is going to be on one of our upcoming um projects so thanks for joining us today if you're watching on the replay and have questions let me know share the video out if you can if you know others who love diys crafts and thrift flips and we will be back next monday at 9 a.m okay. for more crafting fun all right guys thanks for joining us bye